How's it going YouTube? My name is Richard right away back again with of course another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video for you guys today and in today's video what I'm actually going to be showcasing on my channel is some really really awesome gameplay that I think you guys will enjoy. Basically what you guys are watching is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do a like rating it would be very very much appreciated. Also subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel and with that being said let's jump right into it. So like I said Advanced Warfare Weapons in Black Ops 3. This is actually from the mod tools on the PC uh, for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and in the description I'm going to credit the people who actually did this or the credit the person uh, because this takes a lot of work guys this takes a lot of work to implement different weapons from different Call of Duties into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and he basically implemented weapons from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare he implemented weapons from like the regular weapons to like supply drop weapons it, it's really really awesome and this took a lot of work so I really want to credit him so his links will be down in the description his YouTube channel and his Twitter uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think about this even if you didn't like advanced warfare you didn't like the weapons you didn't like weapon variants or supply drops or whatever it is you still can appreciate the hard work and dedication this guy put into this because you literally are playing with weapons from a different call of duty onto another call of duty like it's absolutely insane like different weapons from a different call of duty title like advanced warfare and you're putting them on and you're actually playing with them on call of duty black ops 3 and i believe he actually implemented weapons like 22 weapons or so from call of duty uh, advanced warfare into black ops 3 uh the weapons are the M1 Garand, the PDW, the Sten, the AK-47 like you guys just saw, uh, the AMR9, the S12 like you guys are probably seeing right now. He actually got the Lever Action, the STG, the M16. We also have the SN6, the TAC-19, the Bulldog, the RW1, the ASM1, one of my favorite submachine guns in uh, Advanced Warfare, which is really, really awesome. Uh, we also got the BAL-27, another awesome assault rifle that was probably like one of the most famous assault rifles in Advanced Warfare, uh, which is really cool. Then we have the MP-11, the HBR A3, the IMR, another popular uh, assault rifle, and then we also have the Moors probably one of the more popular uh, uh, sniper rifles in Advanced Warfare. And then the last ones we have the M1 Irons and the Blunderbuss. So those are all the weapons showcased in this gameplay. I'm not going to commentate throughout the whole entire video because I really just want you guys to sit back and just kind of watch this gameplay and just take it in because this is really, really awesome. I think the models are pretty spot on. The only thing that I can pretty much have for constructive criticism is probably the gun sounds as well as the fire rates. The fire rates are a little bit messed up on a couple of weapons and the sounds are a little bit off, but nonetheless, like the models are like point they're like they're like pinpoint they're they're top of the line models right there you guys can see it uh the models look exactly like the ones from uh, advanced warfare and i think that's really really awesome now when these people actually mess around with the mod tools and implement different you know call of duty weapons from a different call of duty title onto black ops 3 it takes a lot of work guys and they really want some constructive criticism they want to see what they're doing wrong how they can actually make their kind of you know i guess you guys can say products or whatever uh, a, a little bit better actually so just let me know in the comment section you know what they can actually change what can they improve on so they can actually fix that for the next time because I know a lot of people try to you know mess around with the mod tools they try to implement a lot of different weapons which I think is absolutely fascinating because you're seeing advanced warfare weapons on like black ops 3 now usually when you played advanced warfare you had the exo movements you had the double jumps you had like the the boost and stuff like that you know the the air boost or whatever and uh, it, you don't really see these weapons just using them just like running around like this and like in a call of duty black ops 3 kind of theme or like kind of style so it's it's really cool to see uh, advanced warfare weapons actually uh, in Black Ops 3 and kind of like the style of it. Now I know he was trying to actually implement uh, for the TAC-19 shotgun, he was trying to do it so like uh, it, it's more or less like the thunder gun, like it has a thunder gun effect where you shoot the TAC-19 uh, and then like it has like a wave and it can push a bunch of zombies away. I know this person's trying to implement a lot of features in this because it can really really go a long way and I think mod tools are just a really creative way to just have fun, freshen up the game, even if Black Ops 3 is like an old title like maybe like like in two years or three years, you could still go back to Black Ops 3, mess around with the mod tools, and still have a lot of fun. I know me personally, I hop on World at War sometimes on the PC and play some custom zombies and just have some fun with my buddy Dr. Pineapple's content sometimes. So it's really cool to just see a bunch of weapons that are not in Black Ops 3 uh, that you can actually use. So anyway, drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below because there's a lot of weapons in this game, uh, Advanced Warfare, that were really, really popular and they do showcase this. Uh, 
other person actually showcases the weapons in this kind of mod tools gameplay. Uh, like I said, he shows the BAL-27, the ASM-1, a lot of popular weapons that you guys should be familiar with, so it's really, really awesome. You know, one thing I would, you know, recommend or kind of want to see from this person making all these mod tools gameplays is actually some variants, some weapon variants. As you guys know, like in Advanced Warfare, uh, we had supply drops and we had the uh, the enlisted variants, then we had the rare and then the elite. I think it'd be really cool to see some elite variants like the ASM-1 Speakeasy, maybe even the Strider. Uh, we have the BAL-27 Obsidian Steed or like the Moore Silver Bullet or Doctor. So there's a lot of things you can do because Advanced Warfare had so much creativity. Uh, Advanced Warfare had so much variance and stuff like that that you could really, really mess around with all these weapons and just implement them into the mod tools in Black Ops 3. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I think this is absolutely fascinating and I would love to see a lot more of this uh, hopefully soon in the future because these people are working really, really hard hard on these mod tools and all these weapons and stuff like that so uh thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay you guys can just sit back relax and just let me know your guys opinions on it let me know how this person can improve and hopefully if he does come across this video he can read the comments and just see all the positive feedback that you guys should give him because i think this is absolutely amazing oh also one more thing that i did want to point out in this video and it's, it's kind of like not relating to the gameplay or anything like that but i want to kind of just talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one. um actually if you didn't know if you don't follow me on Twitter, which you guys should, it's just at right away. Um, I actually did join Obey, uh, the Obey Alliance. Uh, I actually joined last night, and I really just want to quickly thank uh, Wise, Aeolus, you know, Gylos, uh, Magoo, and stuff like that. Like, they literally are giving me the opportunity to join Obey, and I'm going to be a content creator for them. I'm going to represent the brand. I'm going to just help them in any way, shape, or form uh, going into Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and I think it's going to be a really awesome partnership. So, I want to thank the guys over at Obey just for giving me this opportunity. I guess you guys can call me Obey Raid now. I'm not too sure uh, but yeah I want to quickly you know tell you guys in case you don't follow me on Twitter that I'm actually a part of Obey now and I'm super excited for the future man uh, this team is absolutely amazing I love the members so much uh, the members seem really cool so anyway I just want to quickly you know tell you guys that but anyway thank you so much for watching drop a like subscribe if you guys are brand new and I'll see you guys on another one